Hmm. Thinking the glass texture may be broken. Oh well. What's up, Hadders and Hadders? Oh. What's up, Hadders and Hadders? This is Darkity here, and welcome to another episode on the Fusion server. Now, today we won't be doing our unusual stuff because I'm working on things, and it's also been a long while since I've been on the Fusion server. It's been like uh, two, three weeks now. Uh, but today, we're going to be doing something extra special because I, 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 while I've been busy and I've had reasons for not being on the server, there are a couple of people that have not been on the server as of late who are going to get pranked today because, well, that's just the way I roll. And maybe someone who has normally been on the server will also be getting pranked. So, let's get on with it. We're going to look up things, but before that, you've got to roll the intro. Oh, la, 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 la. Okily dokily then, what's up Hadders and Hadets? Oh, did I actually shoot him? Oh, that's well cool. So, what's up Hadders and Hadets? As you can see, my sky texture has changed and it looks amazing. <laughs> so, welcome to another episode on the Fusion server. Now, it's been a long time since I did an episode. So, naturally, there has been lots and lots of things that have changed since last episode. Because I've been somewhat busy, I've been doing a lot of things, and one of them was that nether tunnel. I built that with Whip, and we did record it, and we were going to do a time lapse. However, um, I deleted the footage for it by accident. And speaking of Whip, let's go, let's go over here, because uh, I'll let you see this. Because I'm not sure if Whip's able to record at the moment. Oh, actually, no, he's already done it. There it is. There is the dragon egg. The bastard has won the dragon egg. It now belongs to him. Uh, he's not done any work here. Spent ages designing that for himself just so he could have it right there where I can see it. And apparently he's got a buttload of sheep. And I need wool soon, so I'm going to have to come and visit him a little later. And get some wool from him. Uh, but that's not the only update that we've got. No, I have done a fair bit, and I can't remember how much of it I've already shown you in previous episodes. But if you don't already know, over here, you'll have seen it just a moment ago, we have cows! We have a cow cooker again, uh, so I'm back on eating steak. But also we have all of these, and these are filled to the brim. Both sides. Full of stone. Oh, there's some bastards taking them. All of that stone because they all smelted free furnaces and then I had to bring it all up here and replace it. Not those furnaces. In fact, oh, just that's probably something I should show you. The garden is now completely finished. I'm quite happy with this. And this one has steps that go down here and round the back. And then here will be a stairway. A stairway into what you ask? Well, I'm going to go show you now. So, if you just give me a second. It's just on, on, on this. So, I set the beacon up and it did have haste on it because I needed haste. I also needed efficiency 5. So, if we head down here, you can see I have done a lot of work. I dug out this entire room, if you don't already know. Uh, and then I filled it in. I got this idea from OCTC because this is the same kind of design that they have in the pools of water, which is kind of where I got it from, and then sort of modified it to my own uses to make it look that cool. And then over here, we've got where the entryway is. This is the only pathway that I've started. This design was literally made on the spot. I had no plans for this at all, I just kind of started working on it and it just came out like this and it looked awesome so I kept it. And then down here we've got the iron bars. This one will lead to a portal room. This one is also likely to lead to a portal room. If not, it will either go into... Uh, 
I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to keep on that side because I don't want it to be my storage room. Storage room is going to go over there or on the other side. Uh, and then I need potions and stuff like that. But this will... I don't know. I'm just going to have to look into it. Unless, of course, I have stairways on both sides that lead down into a portal room which can go underneath. Up here, we're going to have a stairway and a piston elevator which will lead us up back up to there which is where the statue stairs go down so yeah then on that side there's going to be some farms like uh, animal breeding farm sheep farms pig farm cow farm chicken farm all that crap that i need uh and then i'm also likely going to have like normal farms i'll probably have like different farms on each side uh, on this side, we're going to have um, all redstone devices. I'm going to have a furnace array room on that side. On this side, there's going to be a potions room. And at the end of it, there is going to be the mob system collection area. So we're going to have like a bit of a storage room for that. And I also want to feed the potion room and the furnace array back into that storage room because that's where all that is going to end up going and then back here this is where it gets a bit more complicated it's going to be the huge storage room that I'm going to be building now I was planning on building a wood farm however I do want to build a community to one in the nether using the wither so we're going to have to not the nether I want to build it in the end using the wither uh, so that's something to look forward to and um, this is how I've been getting out at the moment you just have to clamber up onto these stairs and then jump up the steps and you tend to fall a lot going up here but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ready for the prank that I want to do and then I need to head on over to the person's base of which I am to do the prank pom. What's up, dude? That's never happened before. Probably... Yeah, I don't have any torches on me. That's odd. That has never actually happened before. So yeah, I do believe the mob system is going to be going up in the sky about here. And then it's going to drop down just behind here. But I want to build it in a way that it's not going to be an eyesore for uh, Flip's base. So we need to build it pretty high up so it's kind of only activated in the sky. And I don't really want to be able to see it from too low down. So, like if I'm down here, I just kind of want to be able to see it only just, but not too much of it. So it'll be something sky activated and nothing that really activates from down here. You'd have to go and stand AFK to activate it. Um, so yeah, let me gather the stuff that I need for the prank, and then we shall get on with what we need to be doing. So I will be back when I get to the person's base. So you're probably thinking, what the hell? <laughs> Where are you now? I'm at the stronghold, because I forgot that I wanted to show you this. I will be helping uh, out with this, and I might include some footage in the next episode, but if we jump in here, uh, you'll remember we've already... Oh, whoa. Hey! It seems like Mr. Flip has been pretty busy. I like this. Oh, that's very nice. However, if we head up here, the question is... What has he done with... No, okay, that's good. Because uh, I want to build a wither uh, powered... Oh, shit. Down here. Okay, that wasn't good. Uh, but I want to build a wither powered um, tree farm in the end. So I do need to have access to the um, to the end portal to take me back. And it seems like some of Quit's base. Uh, well, some of his ice has started to melt, so we'll need to fix this. 
as soon as possible. Till then, we have to swim through it very slowly. Now, I'm not 100% sure on how much of this he's actually finished yet. Looks like he's having a bit of an issue here. Pretty sure this isn't supposed to be like that. There we go, got out eventually. Yeah, if Whip needs to fix this pretty quickly, it's kind of... Yep, this is bad. Right, I'll be back. Oh, shit. So I died. I lost 79 layers levels because of Whip. I'm going to kill him. Because that should have been a lot safer than it... Oh, why am I in creative? Oh, yeah, I panicked. Yeah. I didn't mean to do that. I do that a lot. Uh, when I think I'm going to die, I switch to creative because I always forget that I'm not supposed to be doing that. Um, I've never actually managed to stop myself from dying. Normally it clicks. Oh, I'm supposed to be dying here and then switch out back into survival and just let myself die. Uh, but yeah, that's a bit depressing. So <laughs> I... Luckily chested a lot of my stuff, but I just lost a lot of valuable gear, especially my bow. That was the last bow that I had that was really good. So yeah, I'm not going to go back to the end. I suppose we'll have to wait until Fwip get that sound with it a bit more. So until then, let me go grab my stuff and we can start doing the prank. God, I love this dragon. But you know what I love more? Not dragons. I like statues, and you probably already know this because you've seen me build the statues at my base. Uh, but this is Cube's base. Now, I thought I was the only organic builder. I thought I was the only person who was going to be st building statues on the server. And then we added Cube, and he ruined my day because he started building statues on the server. So, I thought I'd build him an extra special one. Now, I wonder if you can figure out what I'm going to be building with orange wool, snow, yellow uh yellow wool some coal blocks and some shears if you can figure it out then this should be fun uh but here's a time lapse to me building this
Oh, it's so cool how how good all of this kind of looks, and then that derpy ass head. <laughs> I started to do the head, and then it's like I have no idea what I want to do with the head, so I just put a random ass smiley on it. But I've decided this can be Jeff the derpy, derpy derp, derpy ass snowman. Oh, he's cute though, and I think Cube will like him. I'm just gonna grab all of my stuff, take the steak, and don't need all of the snow. Let's leave him some snow. So I brought a lot more wool than I needed. I tend to just grab more than I need, and that reminds me, I need to put a sign down. Does he have any wood? Because I doubt he'll mind borrowing uh, a little bit of wood. There we go. And then swap it into that. And then just dump that on the floor for a sec. Hang on. We need one. Can go there. Nine signs, perfect. Put that back. Take the snow. Happy days. Right then. So let's do Right, I'll be back when I wrote this. Okay, thing. so I'm done. Uh as you can see I've also dotted some snow around uh the bottom of him just to give it more of an effect. So I heard you never come on and record, Cube, said Face. Uh, I felt maybe you needed a friend, so I brought over my good buddy Jeff, the derpy snowman, who gets bullied by the other snowmen for being so huge. So I thought your statues might make a good friend for him, Patch. Uh, and that's everything. Uh, I'm going to come back later and maybe leave a chest with a diamond in it just to be nice. Um, but for now, that's everything. Uh... Don't forget to follow me on Twitter as usual, guys. Uh, don't forget to go and check out the other guys. But now I've got to get going because I've got Dragons to Slay, Minecraft, and Pokemon to Catch. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye!